Hello, how are you guys? And welcome to the second video in the Imua bicycle trailer build series. As we told you before, Imua means to move forward. And this bicycle trailer is going to help somebody do exactly that with their life. So what we're doing here in this video is this is our very first wall panel for the uh, box camper. And it's made out of some fiberglass sheet. And we're using these little cut down strips of PVC pipe, turn them into little half rounds. And we're using those to provide supports on the panel. So there's going to be five of them total that go all the way across. And what we're doing here, what I'm doing here, is to secure these pieces to the existing sheet of fiberglass that we made in the last video. And we're just having them in with little strips of fiberglass. And here I'm giving it a try with a little stippling brush to see if that was more efficient. And I've decided, no, it's actually better to use the roller. It puts more resin down, and it does actually help the chop strand material to conform to these little strips a little bit better than that stippling brush does. So to each their own, this is the tool that I found was the most helpful for the job. I'm using sheets of fiberglass for this build because we're not able to get sheets of coroplast on Kauai. Coroplast is the plastic cardboard material that's used for real estate and for sale signs. Fiberglass is a bit more expensive than coroplast and can also be a little bit heavier depending. So that's why I'm making sure that I make this structure as lightweight as possible, yet still have the amount of strength that we need for wall and roof panels. One of the convenient things about using chopped strand material is that you can simply tear off strips. The rough edges will blend almost seamlessly into the existing fiberglass substrate that you're adhering it to. To make the material patch nicely, I make sure to tear off any of the factory edges as those will be readily visible when you uh, fiberglass them to the substrate. As with any project like this, make sure that you take your time and do it right. And if there's any little bumps or inconsistencies in the materials, you can always come back and sand it out once it cures. To more easily reach the back side, I just turn the panel around.
And now it's time to get sanding. We've got a bunch of rough edges to clean up as well as some uneven parts of the surface. This part is going to be the interior, so it's important that it's nice and smooth. Once it's all assembled, I'll be putting two coats of interior paint on and two coats of exterior paint so the walls will be stiffened up a little bit further.
As you can see, the panel is pretty flexible but strong. There are going to be two coats of exterior paint and two coats of interior paint added to this, so it will stiffen the panels up. This will be done once the box of the camper has all been assembled.